The Iowa Hawkeyes have caught the national attention of the college basketball world this year. They are led by legendary head coach Lisa Bluter, who is in her 23rd year with the Hawkeyes. But for Coach Bluter, her coaching career started right here before she was even Lisa Bluter. In 1984, the St. Ambrose Fighting Bees hired 23-year-old Lisa Geske as their next women's basketball head coach. Geske, a three-year starter and 1983 graduate at the University of Northern Iowa, stepped in at SAU, making an impact right away. Well, there's always pressure coming into a winning program, you know, to keep up the winning. And I'm sure we're going to do that. We're going to continue keeping the winning spirit in the program. With the Fighting Bees for six seasons, Bluter compiled a 169-36 and record, taking the Fighting Bees to four straight national tournaments. 1989 and 1990 would be two of the best years in the program's history, with Final Four appearances in each year. Coach Bluter's 1990 squad won 34 straight games before falling just short to the eventual national champions. The St. Ambrose women will be making their fourth straight trip to the NAIA National Tournament this week. Steve Tappa, a student broadcaster for SAU at the time, remembers covering Bluter and the women's team during those tournament runs. You could tell right away she just... She was a heck of a coach, um, and more, more than anything, was a great person and a great program builder because of it. She just had a, had a way of um, relating to everybody. In her six seasons at SAU, Bluter was named the Coach of the Year for Iowa's 15th District and won the 1990 Converse Women's Basketball Coach of the Year in the NAIA. Even with all her success, she had her eyes set on bigger. She hopes to be a Division I coach someday, but for right now, Lisa Bluter is content being a busy bee. Bluter would get her chance staying in Iowa at Drake University. It's difficult because St. Ambrose is a great institution, but uh, so is Drake. I feel like um, you know, St. Ambrose was a family to me, but I felt the same feeling after I left here after my recruiting visit. Coach Bluter led the Bulldogs for 10 seasons before making her jump to the Big Ten. While at Iowa, she has not only made a major impact on the Hawkeyes, but on women's basketball as a whole. I think people are understanding the product that we can produce is really, really good. It's really fun to turn on the TV and watch women's basketball. It's just that people need to do it and invest time in it. There was 200 people in the stands when I played, and it was back page news. And to see it, the growth of women's basketball and the explosion, I think it's because we play such an exciting style of game. And I think it's because these women stick around for four years. Success has followed her to Iowa as well. Bluter is the all-time winningest coach in program history and is now taking part in not only her first Final Four, but Iowa's first since 1993. Even with all that success, Coach Bluter has never forgotten her roots. Starting your coaching career at St. Ambrose, did you yeah. ever think <laughs> one day you'd be in one Seattle going to the Final Four? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, you know, and heck, I hardly knew about the Final Four back at St. Ambrose, you know. Uh, but man, that was a great start for me. I mean, I, I've only been in three places, and all in the great state of Iowa. And so, you know, I've been at three St. Ambrose, Drake, and Iowa. Those are amazing places. And um, I couldn't be more thankful to represent the great state of Iowa right now. The whole state of Iowa is proud of the Hawkeye success, but there is a little extra pride for the coach who got her start right here at St. Ambrose. With SAU Weekly, I'm Ryan Schistel.